Hello and welcome back, beautiful collective. Thank you for joining me here. I'm going straight to your ancestors. What do the ancestors want the collective energy to be aware of? Ancestors, your guides, what do you want the collective to be aware of at this time? Shine, they're saying, shine. Pay attention, shine, explore. Oh, well, they're discontent. Huh? Huh? Wait, wait, why are they, why are they doing this? Oh, <laughs> they're calling your person a player. Turn your back on them. Pay attention. That's what they're saying. They're telling you to shine. Pay attention. Things are not as they appear. This person is discontent with where they're at. So pay attention, you're shining here. And this person, your ancestors are here protecting you. What's going on here? Ooh, there's some kind of argument. Oh, are the ancestors duking it out here? Oh, they are. <laughs> they are. The ancestors, their ancestors and your ancestors are saying, what do you expect? Do you think that, are you expecting perfection? Like, you shine. Okay, you shine. And they're telling you, you shine. Your ancestors are adamant. They're telling you to be creative. They're, they're, some of your ancestors are haunting this person. You know that, eh? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but some of your ancestors are making fun of this person. So, you got a comic in your, one of your ancestors is like a comic. They're laughing at this person. It's like, I'm surprised they could even drive a bike. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> they're like, shouldn't the object be on looking after after <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, ho, 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 ho. Mm. oh shit. Oh, huh? well. Wow. 
Like you're very wholesome, hospitable. <laughs> They're saying do nothing. You're innocent. You have powerful ancestors, but they are saying focus on yourself and they are saying shine. You are meant to shine. They're laughing at this person. I don't know what if your person rides a bike. I don't know if your person is a driver. I don't know. Your ancestors are laughing at them and they're saying they could be haunting them. They could be doing weird things with this person's vehicle, messing with their vehicle. I don't know. They think it's a funny as hell. They're haunting. Somebody's ancestors is haunting this person. They could actually hear laughing. Is this person laughing, spirit? Is this ancestor actually laughing? this ancestor laughing at this person? They're messing with their vehicle or something. Like maybe this person's vehicle is their pride and joy or something like that. I don't know. Maybe they are a driver. Maybe they think they're like some kind of Oh, no, they're laughing because you're being protected. Are you got to calling this person a fool? They don't trust this person. The ancestors do not trust this person. They want you to shine. They want this person to apologize to you or they're saying this person owes you an apology. They're being haunted by something. I don't know, some ancestor is laughing at this person and they're driving. Like they're laughing at this person and they're driving. I don't know if they're doing something to their vehicle. I don't know what this is. They're being haunted somehow. They're supposed to... You're getting some kind of justice here. Or they want this person... Like you're being told to shine. Like you outshine them. 
Maybe this person's vehicle is like their pride and joy or something like that. But you outshine them. Maybe you got a better vehicle than they do now. Or I don't know. It's like they're haunting this person. Until they give you some kind of justice. This person's thinking they're losing their mind or something. <laughs> they're messing with the, your person. The ancestors are messing with your person. Your person thinks that they're hearing things or seeing things or imagining things. They're not. <laughs> they're not. Oh, well, we got caught. This person was thinking that they would never get caught. Oh, your ancestors are laughing at the arrogance of this person. How arrogant that they are. They're laughing because they, the ancestors are like, this person thought that they would never get caught. How arrogant they are. They're laughing at this person and their arrogance. They're having a good joke on this person. Or people really are laughing at this person. Your ancestors are saying people are laughing at this person or the ancestors are laughing at this person because of how arrogant that they were. How arrogant that they were. Like, full of pride, full of ego, um, being so arrogant. And so... I think people are actually talking about this person and making fun of them. Yeah. They're friends. Because they may have repeated a cycle or something like this. Yeah, for causing such a shit mess in the family or something. Their family members are fighting and arguing. This person has caused nothing but a mess with their arrogance. And it's like people around them are talking about them. People around them are, are making fun of them and the mistakes that they're making. It's because this person has been so blatant arrogant like saying too much like thinking they would never get caught thinking they could do whatever they wanted to do people are laughing at this person
Because they know damn well that this person's still in love with you. Pay attention. Look. They're like, people are gossiping about this person. They are. It's like your person, I don't know if someone baited them or they're just naturally really arrogant. But people are laughing at this person and gossiping about them and talking about them because of their arrogance. How arrogant they were to think that they would never get caught. How arrogant that they were thinking that the grass was greener and they were going to do better and they were going to win and they were going to put you down and make you look small or something. The ancestors is laughing at this person, but it really wouldn't shock me if people in their real life were making fun of this person and talking and gossiping about them because of their own manipulative ways. So it's like they're getting a dose of their own medicine. Because this person is angry. They're angry at themselves. For causing their own tower. Devil energy. Oh, yeah. Stuck with someone who they regret being with. So people are mocking them. Well, because they've been too arrogant. They've been coming off really arrogant. Oh, they'll never catch me. I can give to two. They'll never know. They'll never find out. I'm brag, 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 all up in their ego. And, you know, it's a, sh a short way up the ladder, but a long way down. Pride cometh before a fall. And all these people, maybe they thought they were the best at their job. Maybe they thought they were the best at whatever. Yeah, people get, you go off that arrogant, people are going to make fun of you when you go down. It's just that simple. They regret this third party. Thinking that, the, you know, this separation, they had it all figured out in their head how this scenario was supposed to play out. They had it all figured out in their head how this scenario was going to play out. They were going to make themselves look better at your expense, talking shit about you, talking shit about this one, that one. They're the best at this. They're the best at that. Uh, pride cometh before a fall. Uh, yeah, and people are snickering about this person. And how arrogant that they were. And the things that they're doing. See, like a lot of people, um, when you get a braggart like that, and you got somebody who's like thinking they're never going to get caught, thinking that 
like these people know what this person's been doing. And it's almost like when shit happens for them, that's the worst case scenario because their pride is getting a, a beaten. Because they don't like to be laughed at. And they don't like people making fun of them. And they don't like people gossiping about them. But it was okay for them to do that to someone else. So they're getting taught a lesson. And one of your ancestors is a comic. They're like laughing their head off. They're totally laughing their head off. Because of the arrogance of the situation. Like they're not making fun of this person per se, but they're they're laughing because of the wrong that this how unjust this person was to you. But then when it happens to them, like I said, that's hitting rock bottom. The Ten of Wands is hitting rock bottom. Uh, overwhelmed, heavily burdened, like that's hitting rock bottom. And... Some of their ancestors are embarrassed of them. Because a lot of your ancestors were into this till death do us part type of thing. You don't go get another partner till you like you're widowed or you're dead. You know what I mean? And it's like they see how flamboyant this person is. How recklessly they discard love. And think that they're going to get something better. And it's like... Then when they fall down on their face, they're crying louder than anybody. The ancestors is just like, let them learn. Let them learn. and some of them have turned their back their own ancestors are turning their backs on this person because like in their era it was like I said people stayed together till death do you part or until yeah you know what I mean and this person is so arrogantly um, yeah, it's not good. You know what I mean? Like some of your ancestors are really sovereign and they believe in the unity of marriage and commitment and stuff like that. And for this person to be so haughty, so arrogant, it's like disgracing even some of their ancestors. <laughs> They're like, you related to this one? You related to that one? They're like, I'm just going to look the other way now. <laughs> Mm 
One ancestor is haunting them. If not more than one. Haunting their car? I don't know, something about their vehicle. It's something about their vehicle. Maybe it's broke down or repoed. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. It's so whatever they do. And whatever character that they're portraying, it's like affects the ancestors as well. You know, that's their bloodline. And their bloodline, a lot of their bloodline might believe in like the sanctity of a relationship or a marriage or, you know, you honor your commitments or whatever. But they're different. They're like, I'm better than. I'm never going to get caught. I'm never going to get caught. But they're getting caught. And if they're getting laughed at by people, it's because of their arrogance. They just got so haughty. I don't know who made this person... They're just so full of arrogance and pride. Like, they need the fall. They need this lesson. Take care now.